Assalamu alaikum guys. The Habib effect. The best fighter. I love that. Because one. of his dominance. Yeah. No no one even comes close, dude. He's announced his retirement a few days ago, but we can still see the effects that the ripples of Habib have sent throughout the globe. But here I've seen a ripple effect a group of people that, let's face it, are the foundation of our society. It's the youth, but not just any youth. The youth that the youth look up to. It's Khabib with the belt and his, his dad is like the angel in heaven next to him. And it, it's uh, it's one of those ones where when a fighter announces that he's retiring, Khabib is serious. Yes, that's right. Today on YouTube Trending, I saw Logan Paul mention a few things about Habib. Now, I was very quick to click on it because I wanted to see what sort of things he would say. So Logan Paul and his team not only admired Habib, but they gave him the credit that he fully deserves. I, I've, I've been saying it. He is the best fighter to ever grace the planet. They admired him for his dedication. I, I, I'm, I'm stunned at how good of uh, of a fighter this guy is. I literally just can't believe it and it, it sucks because I want to see more and more and more of him. And of course they admired him for his values and his religion as well. He's one of those no bullshit guys. He's Got such me. a humble person behind the doors. Like he's just so connected to uh, whatever you want to call it. The divine, his family, his morals. He, well, he's really religious. Yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's Muslim. Now all these three things are, let's face it, qualities that are lacking a lot in the people of today. And to see this embedded in a person like Habib and then see him to be somebody that is succeeding in both aspects. You got some people that have good character and manners but they may not have talent. You got some people that have talent but then they don't have that side. Here you have seen a very unique individual who has the best of both worlds. And I think that's why we as YouTubers are constantly making content about Habib because he has reached the epitome of success and he has not let go of his values. And this is something as adults we are trying to teach our kids and we're trying to teach our younger generation. Now we have a rule in this family about what we do when we're bored. He didn't compromise for this world. He came, he saw and he conquered. He came to our world where let's face it, if you don't know the language, you're not necessarily going to do well, <laughs> but this guy showed us otherwise. When alcoholic, someone drunk guy talk and some steaks with burgers, you know, it's like, I'm very hungry. So am I. Thank you. If you don't know about the culture and you don't assimilate, you're not going to do well. This guy showed otherwise. First movie when Harry met Sally. This is, this is movie about Dirty Harry. I don't give a shit about this movie. And if you're seen as a daddy's boy or a mother's boy. I know my, my father gonna smash when I go home. Or if you're seen as outwardly professing that you are a Muslim, you're not gonna do well. This guy showed otherwise. And for someone like Habib to reach the youth is I think one of his greatest achievements. Because this is something that any mosque you go to, any organization, everyone is saying, how do we get the youth practicing? How do we get them to the mosque? Well, this is exactly it give them people that they can look up to. Very it, envious of, of people with, that have that kind of dedication to anything, whether it be the sport, whether it be the religion, or by the way, extremely envious of the people that have that level of dedication to multiple things. This is one of the reasons I went into YouTube. Yeah, I was a teacher, but things that I was saying, the kids were like, yeah, he seems a bit out of touch. But then I came on YouTube, I did what I did, and now people are like, okay, maybe this guy knows what he's talking about. Yeah, and there's many of the people watching, you guys are much more funnier than me, you're much more informed than me, you're much more charismatic than me, but you just didn't take that step. And you can, everyone's got these phones in their hands and if you have knowledge, you have good character, you should put it out there rather than sitting at home complaining and just being a keyboard warrior. Yeah, and that's what we need. And I think that's the key message I want to give in this video that Alhamdulillah. Thumma alhamdulillah we had somebody like Habib yeah and these are individuals imagine if people started doing things collectively Spartans what is your profession <laughs> Habib came and he shook up the world to use Muhammad Ali's language I shook up the world 
Fix your relationship with Allah and Allah will fix your relationship with the people. It needs to be this order. You fix first your relationship with Allah and Allah will fix your relationship with the people. If you try to flip the order, you first try to please people. Yeah, You try to first fix your relationship with the people, it just doesn't work. Guys, enough jibber jabber. I'll see you next time inshallah. <laughs> Too much more make your uh, heart uh, weak. Assalamu alaikum.